Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing very well. The following question was asked in GATE CS 2024. The question was as follows. Consider the entries shown below in the forwarding table of an IP router. Each entry consists of an IP prefix and the corresponding next hop router for packet whose destination IP address matches the prefix. The notation slash n in a prefix indicates a subnet mask with the most significant n bit set to 1. The router forwards 20 packets each to 5 hosts. The IP addresses of the hosts are given like this, right? The number of packets forwarded via the next hop router R2 is. We need to calculate how many uh, number of packets forwarded via this particular next hop router R2. Fine. So let's we need to calculate one by one. So you know that as per the question, you know, router is going to forward 20 packets each of each to five host, right? So host one, if I am going to consider host one, that is 10.1.1.16. This is my host one, fine. Now, net ID when masked with 25 bits, if why 25 bit because this particular r2 i need to consider with the respect of this next hop router r2 so if i am going to mask this ip address with 25 bit net mask i am going to get 10.1.1.0 uh, so the packet to host one is not forwarded by the router r2 because if you can see here then it is not matching with this fine so this particular uh, uh, IP will not forward the packets via R. Okay, no worry. Calculate with the host 2. This is my host 2. This is my host 2. So 10.1.1.72. And if I am going to mask this IP address with 25 bits net mask, I am going to get 10.1.1.0 again. So here also what I can say that it is host 2 is also not going to forward its packet via router 2 because after net masking with the 25 bit uh, we are getting this which is not matching here fine okay now let's consider host 3 so i am changing the color uh, host 3 that is this color host 3 fine so what is host 3 10 .1 .1 .1 and if I am going to mask it with 25 bit net mask, I am going to get 10.1.1.128. So it is net ID when the masked with 25 bit net mask. Fine. So we can say that we can say that this particular host that is host 3 can forward the packet by router 2. It is possible here. Fine. Now. Now. If you will just see the next host that is host number four, then for host number four, the host ID is 10.1.1.191. And if I am going to mask it with 25 bit, I am going to get 10.1.1.128. So it is the net ID when it is masked with 25 bit net mask. So I can say that, I can say that, uh, this particular uh, uh, IP address is also going to forward its routing packet via router to because if you are going to mask it with 25 bit or if you are going to mask it with 26 bit or here also with 26 bit you are going to get the same you are going to get the same so I can say that the host 3 and host 4 can forward their packets via router to now let's check with host 5 10.1.1.205 and if I am going to uh, mask it with 25 bit net, uh, net mask then I am going to get 10.1.1.128 so I can say that uh, this particular host 5 this particular host 5 is also going to send its packet or forward its packet via uh, okay, so if with 25 bit we are getting it, but if I am going to mask it with 26, 26 bit, then I am going to get 10.1.1.192 means uh, this host 5 will use router 4, it will not use router 2. 
because after because if i am going to uh, mask it with 26 i am going to get 192 so this will more specifically uh, forward its packet via router 4 fine now as per our question as per our question uh, as per our question if you will see that uh, router will choose more specific option over the generic here so 20 packets via router 3 host 3 and uh, 20 packets via host 4 so host 3 and host 4 will send 20 packets each so total 40 packets will be sended via router 2 so 40 is the correct answer for this gate question i hope the solution is clear to you all fine so do subscribe the channel for more such solutions